This is one of my new little fish, the Diamond Gobi. He's making himself a nice little home. I got the Diamond Gobi. Um, basically, I had a blue cheek, and the blue cheek Gobi grabs the sand and he swims right up to where all the power heads are and dumps sand everywhere, all over the corals. But this type of Gobi just basically makes little mounds of sand everywhere so I wanted a goby that would siphon through my sands just to keep it a little bit clean I've got conchies I've got snails I've got everything and my sand is very clean on top but underneath it's a little bit dirty so instead of me going through it and siphoning out all the detritus and all the crap and everything I've decided to get myself one of these gobies to do a job so, as you can see, all the debris that's floating around the tank at the moment, there's quite a lot of rubbish floating around. And that's because of this little guy. And he, that's exactly what I wanted him to do. So he's made himself a nice little home at the moment under here. He was living under here, but he seems to have moved. So... Such a lovely little goby, doing a lovely little job, stirring up the sand for me, making little mounds. There he goes. He's loving it, like in his natural habitat. Absolutely loving it. I've got a few more fishies to show you. Some rassies. I've got a pair of yashagobies with a tiger pistol shrimp which are in the same burrow at the moment but um, that'll be for another day just today is this little guy he's not aggressive at all and yeah doing a lovely lovely little job there there's a few of the rassies but we'll talk about them another day beautiful little things I've got no problems in my tank with my rassies I've got a few different types but um, yeah, we'll talk about them another day. So yeah, that is the Diamond Gobi making himself a little home. He'll probably make a little home underneath this piece of uh, coral and then eventually he'll probably move on as he gets more confident. I only got him yesterday, so he's got a bit of fattening up to do. But um, yeah, he should be cool. He should be cool. And there he goes. He should come back because um, I think that's his little burrow that he's making. So there he goes. He's sifting through the sand. Here he goes. And you can see he makes little piles. He sucks it in, spits it out his gills. So he's getting like the micro fauna any detritus but he's the type of goby that doesn't dump the sand high level he keeps it on the sand bed itself so yeah the corals are not out at the moment they're sort of it's only, the, I guess the light's only been on for about half an hour so they're sort of still a bit sleepy But there he is, that is my little new addition. Yeah, over the last couple of weeks I've probably bought maybe five fish because my nutrient levels are very very low and LPS corals don't really like low nutrient levels so I've added these fish and I'm feeding a bit heavier 
to bring them up. So I'm running quite a bit of um, GFO, bio pellets, things like that. That's probably the reason why it's so low. But, um, you know, bring it up slowly and we'll be all cool, no problem. Alright, well, that is the Diamond Gobi. I recommend one, if you haven't got one, to clean your sand. Because he does a lovely little job. Let's go around the other side. He's probably wondering why there's this fella pointing an iPad at him. But there he goes. I probably should have put the filter on the iPad, but this is what you get. You get live action. Just a little bit of coral farming that I'm doing. I think they're um, sunset montiparas. I grow them, let them take over that, then pop out the plug and carry on. So that's, that's the big one. That's just about to take over the plug. And then what I do is I pop the plug out, then I've got a big lump of sunset montipora. And then I can seal the plug. Here's Mr. Gobi. Hello, Mr. Gobi. And that was the original mother colony that I put onto this piece. And that's how it grew. It took a little while, but you know, I ain't got the best lights. But things seem to be growing. I've, I have lost a few bits of coral um, over, the, over the year since I've been keeping a reef tank. But, uh, you know, you learn. You learn as you go along. There we go. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.